All right, to close this off and make it look like cubes, you have to pick a place for your box or your cube to stop, okay? And so I drew a bigger one on the back to show you. What you're essentially going to be doing is figuring out where you want it to stop, and you are going to be doing a 90 degree angle, okay? A 90 degree angle which is basically like an L, okay? You've got a vertical line and a horizontal line, okay? A 90 degree angle. So for example, on this one right here, let's say I wanted my um, cube to stop right here, okay? So I'm gonna put my ruler lined up with the side right here, and I'm gonna darken that so you can see. So I lined it up with this right here. I need to scoot this down and I need to keep it parallel, and I'm going to use my ruler, okay, and draw my line. You can see that these two lines are parallel. That means they stay the same distance apart. And then since it ended right here, I know I need to connect to this end part right here, so I need to put my ruler horizontal and go across to the other edge and stop, okay? So there's my 90 degree angle right there. And then I can take this um, and eraser and erase part of my orthogonals, and you can see now I have a floating cube. So I want you to try that on a couple of yours. If you want to do all four, do all four, but you need 90 degree angles. Your lines should be parallel to the side that they're they're on okay so if you're over here it's going to be parallel to this one this line down here is parallel to this one okay so remember parallel means they stay the same distance apart that you don't get like a weird angle that they stay exactly the same distance apart all the time okay and you achieve that by doing your 90 degree angle